Welcome everybody back to the super awesome video game show here on Rage Select. I'm Jeff. I'm John. Uh, and hey, they updated FTL this week with FTL Advanced Edition. So I thought it's advanced. Uh, yeah, we haven't. We don't even have a video for FTL on the website, and I friggin' love this game. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. I'm <sighs> excited for this. Have you played FTL before? John? I, I'm going to be honest. I have not. Yeah. Uh, I was actually looking forward to playing it on my new computer. Mm -hmm. um, that did not happen as new computer is now away and I have to wait for it to come back. Yeah. Uh, but this did also, in addition to the Advanced Edition getting released, this did get released on iOS yes, it for did. the tablets. Uh, and uh, I'm going to buy it and I, I'm looking forward to trying it out on the tablet because I've heard it's really spiffy. Yeah, let's do this. Now, of course, uh, FTL will whoop your ass. So I've I'm going to expect to get killed at least three or four times while we're doing this. But we're going to try. So for those of you who've never played FTL before, basically you're moving across this galaxy. You've got the Federation fleet uh, that is, is constantly on your back. And it's kind of this lovely uh, little kind of tactical simulator of having a ship. So i got my little guys down here, Chris, Jack, and Block. So nice. Um, one of the things I really like about this game is the way that you can add power. You can distribute power to... Uh, various ship systems let's say right click there we go and uh um kind of you know it's like i feel like ever since we we started ever since we started making video games yeah we've been waiting for like a good like star trek game right yeah because generally they're not that good yeah and this was one of the best star trek games that i have played i have heard this so spot a small rebel ship seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat it doesn't seem to want to engage with you or your ships so what should we do should we be good guys should we demand demand their shit this is rage like yeah. i think we might have to demand their shit all right let's demand their stuff oh here we go now we're in a fight so um let's see if i can remember how to do this they're trying to escape what Nobody escapes, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and try shooting them right in the um, right in the engines to try to uh, keep them from escaping. So is that them moving around, or what is that? This? Yeah. Uh, they have instead of uh, like so, I have uh, the burst laser and I have the uh, Artemis laser. Oh shit. Uh, they have um, a drone that is just circling around me, trying to murder the shit out of me. Oh. Um, actually, they're kind of whooping my ass right now. It looks like it. Um, so if you can target individual ship systems on their ship, and in this case, I'm trying to target their uh, their uh, propulsion to keep them from taking off. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fix my oxygen before everybody runs out of oxygen because it's going down real fast. And now my weapons are under attack, and they went away. Okay, so that was completely, totally, that was no, that was no good. Well, yeah, that was no good. Uh, so we're gonna repair this shit and move on our merry way. So I, I don't know if you can see it, but um, as you move along this map, eventually there's gonna be this giant like mass of ships that starts coming from this side, and when it hits you, you basically just start to become engaged every turn with the Empire and their ships. Ah. Um, what do you got? You recognize a ship of well-known slave trader. Ah, oh, dude. I fuck you slavers. I don't like slavers in video games. Yeah, I'm not um, a big fan of slavers. I'm trying to think of how we should let's take some of this power out and shove it into weapons. Uh so I'm this time I'm going to try to attack his shields to keep his shields down while yeah. we're firing at him. Now in this case, you start out with the uh, Artemis uh, missiles that you actually have a limited number of missiles. Okay. And then you also have this burst laser. So in a few minutes, I'm probably going to run out of lasers. But I'm hoping if I can... Oh, God damn it. Hoping that I can get him get him down a little bit before that happens. Why is my shit not firing? Uh, Why is your stuff not firing? Uh, it's because there's damage to the weapon systems. I'm going to try to put a few more points into weapons. Well, son of a bitch. Those slavers, man. They uh they don't they don't uh You know, maybe I shouldn't have picked the advanced edition combat that was for like people that are really really good at the game. <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. a hull breach? That looks like that may be a hull breach. Oh man, I'm going to keep all those doors closed. I don't think I've successfully hit them once with a with an attack. No. Okay, you know what? 
Why don't you power that down? I want that burst laser firing this entire time. Uh, I don't think the hull breaches were a, a thing in uh, previously. Okay, here we go. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. All right, fine. We'll take your guy since you're kind of whooping my ass up. So now I got a new guy. Uh, you can, as you go through the game, you've got like this shields, you've got weapons, you've got uh, oxygen production and um, uh, yeah. propulsion. And as you go along in the game, you actually, your guys can become more and more. Oh, here, why don't we get some air in there for you? It might take some of the air out of the rest of the ship, but okay. All right, maybe leave. Leave now. Um, and you can actually do things like you can have, uh, like you can open up the doors if you have invaders. Yeah. To space them. Um, and are we? Okay, so this these are getting under control. So you'll see each one of these guys has like a see the little um, uh, skill sets in yes. engines and repair and stuff like that. Uh, so the more crew you have, the more you're able to outfit kind of like, uh, like if you have more people in, like if you have somebody in shields, right, then your shields will stay up longer and recharge faster. Oh, okay. Uh, I actually really need to get to a place where I can, I don't have much, that's fuel, I've got drone parts, I need more scrap. Scrap is how you upgrade. Here's a distress call, but maybe something good over there. I think I'm probably going to die before we're done here. Uh... Okay, satellite defense system has gone haywire, and the crew can't. Let's see, they're on look for. De I'll, we'll help. Uh, okay. Fire a few volleys. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there's trouble. Okay. So they were like, "Hey, our shit's broken," and I'm like, "Oh, that's cool. I'll blow it up for you." Um, but then you can also upgrade. Uh, which one of the things that I really need right now is more power. But I don't have enough for that, so let's see here. There's another game like this that was for um oh shit. Um Cool. Got a defense drone. Oh, nice. Um you can see that when you're in a plasma storm, you can't see a lot of the yeah. places inside of your ship. And when you fight it also I believe interferes with your shields quite a bit. Um, okay, let's, let's just go ahead and get the fuck out of here. But yeah, you were saying this reminds you of another game? or uh, There's like an the iPad and Android game. Oh, crap. Oh. All right. So this dude's, oh, God damn it. They're all up in my bridge. Um, why don't you get out of there? Don't you get in there? Oh, what the fuck? There's another dude over there as well. God damn it! Well, it is a uh... no. Oh fuck! My guy just died. Oh no! I can't get him out of there. Get him into the. Put them all in here. And you know what I'm gonna do is. Oh shit! I don't have. Con I don't have door control is damaged. So let's see if we can repair door control. Then I can open up the doors to space and fucking suffocate these guys. Make them fight me in this one room. See they're blowing up. God damn it. <coughs> All right, come on, Jeff. You can do it. All right, fuck you guys. Punch them. They're in your shields room. Yep. They're just messing everything up. Oh, there we go. All right. Fuck, Got him, finally. Yeah. FTL is really hard. <laughs> I've never actually successfully had a chance to beat a, uh, I, FTL. I have, I have talked to people who have played the game, and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of times they just end up spacing their own people because they forget to close a hatch. Right. That'll and happen. people walk into a room that with an ha open hatch, and it kills them. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my power by one. I can keep my engines and weapons all up at the same time. And go fix the bridge. So you can actually fly places. Yeah. No, there's a uh, there's an uh, there's an Android and iPad game that's kind of like a, a top down isometric game that actually has is very uh, kind of it's it's like a Star Trek clone essentially. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what the hell it's called, but it's pretty good. There's that, and there's also a Bridge Simulator. That's a um, another iPad or uh, iOS game that I don't really have access to because I don't have a uh, a Mac, but uh, or a, 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 an iPhone. But it's like a game that takes place over multiple people's phones where each person or phones and iPads where everybody has a job, like a specific yeah. job to do. 
um, that seems pretty cool that I've always really wanted to play. I've always kind of wanted to do a feature where we get enough people in one room and then I'll dress up silly and, and do it that do it that way. Uh, fuck, man, I really need What's to. Was the other one called Star Command? That sounds one, about right. Yeah. The iOS. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Uh, uh, looking sure, at it. I'll trade. See if we can. Okay, so here you can see, here is the, the Rebel fleet coming after oh. me. And Does it ever explain why they're coming after you? Well, you, uh, you have information that you're trying to get across the galaxy to HQ, essentially. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's see if I can fix. I don't have enough for that. Nope. That's as much as I got. So when you get to these stations, you can actually buy... Oh, shit. I, okay, now I've got some fuel. You can also sell some stuff off. I'm going to sell this defense drone. Uh, there we go. And continue fixing my ship. So you can buy new weapons. You can buy uh, drones. Like, there's the other ship, the Taurus, that you start out yeah. with. That actually, uh, instead of... Oh, fuck. Can I not get to... God damn it. I think I might have screwed Zapooch, as it were. Um, yep, totally screwed the pooch. I thought I could jump to the exit from here, but I'm going to end up <coughs> uh, running into the enemy fleet because yeah, you have to, I got to yeah. jump back through. You got to go to that spot where the enemy fleet is. Yep, this is bad. This is bad. We're going to try to just run a uh oh this is going to be interesting i'm going to i'm going to just wait for it to start shooting at me oh also because i'm in a nebula my power systems are down i don't think they're i don't think they can see me oh nope they yep yep there they go yep they saw you uh shit i don't know what to i you know what i'm just going to have to wait and hope that my shields can stay up long enough you get in there and work the shields mister fuck um because Tur I don't oh, have you gotta wait for your FTL drive to charge up. Right, right. What, for hyperspace calculations. I've actually been reading this uh, Star Wars book yeah. <laughs> by this author that I really like, and this is kind of what happens every time the Millennium Falcon gets in a fight. <laughs> is we have to get the fuck out of here. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oof, that's. Uh, yeah. Now that my engines are damaging, it's it's damaged. It's charging up way slower. You can, you can get out of there now. Okay. Oh, fuck. I can't even get to there. I mean, I got to go back to, like, here? Oh, god damn it! I did not think this through. You didn't I'm, know. It's okay. I'm going to die. John, right. it's, it's going to be terrible. It probably, but uh, it'll be entertaining in some way, yeah. I'm sure. I just... Oh, also, my oxygen is... Really low? Is, ...is damaged, so it's running out. And I can't spool up the FTL drive, god damn it, without a person in there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, not do this anymore <laughs> because that was going to end very poorly. So this is give me a chance. Uh, this is we're about halfway done to show you the Taurus, which is you can unlock a whole bunch of different ships, um, which as you, yeah, as you do different things, like this is defeat flagship with any layout of an N N NG cruiser or whatever. You also okay. have like these different, um, uh, different, Variants for the different ships that you can unlock. Okay. Um, I just haven't done that much at this point, uh, so I haven't unlocked very much. Like I played this back when it first came out, but yeah. I didn't have the time to really, really get into it. You also for this have. Um, oh wait, do I have? Hold on. Oh no. Okay. Um, there are different layouts that'll change the way that the chip is put together. Okay. And then for this one, I have these guys, which are in NG engineers, uh, which they have a higher repair speed, but they not as good at combat. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on easy, just you know, cause. So, uh, all right. So this is actually a very different style of combat than the other guys because what we're trying to do is um, get their their shields down with the ion blaster. Okay. And then uh, use drones to uh, to attack them. Okay. So, but right now, I think I'm going to have to take some out of shields. No, that puts my shields all the way down. Crap, man. All right. Well, we'll just do some power management once we get into to battle. Um, all right. Let's let's make a clear, clear path here. Okay. 
I know where I'm going now. <laughs> okay, good good job, Jeff. That that's probably the best. All right. Uh oh shit. Okay, weapons are hot. We're gonna go ahead and take out of this, and we're gonna shut their shields down, and then we're going to use the drone. So that's what was rotating around me before. Yeah. Was the drone? So in this way, this ship is set up to use the ion cannon to keep their shields down because that's a the cannon does more damage to their shields than it does to their actual to the ship. Yeah. Uh, and then you use the drone to actually shoot the ship. I've actually gotten further in this game with. Um, with this? With this layout than I have with just a straight up kind of shoot because, you know, you run out of missiles eventually and like yeah. things start getting a little dicey. So <clears throat> now by taking uh, power away from the engines, oh, okay, I have enough for that. Uh, by taking power away from the engines, you actually maneuver, You that uh, affects your evade, so your ship isn't able to move as much. Um, all in all, all told, it's a really, like I put it, I think I put it on my game of the year list, uh, the year, uh, what was, what did this come out? It wasn't last year, right? It was the year before? Yeah, yeah, it was 2012. Yeah. yeah, I want to say it was 2012. You're right on that. Ooh, yeah, lots of scrap material. All right, let's upgrade the power bars. Uh, and then shield systems. Uh, I need more. I need more power to actually run that. Um, it's a really fantastic little game. It has a lot of stuff. And I wish you said it's on uh, iOS, but it's not on Android yet, right? No, it's not on Android right now. It's just on PC. Um, I think it might be Mac compatible. I'm not 100% on that. Mm. Uh, and then I know they just released it on iOS, which looking at the game that I'm seeing, it looks like this would probably run amazingly on iOS, truthfully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with like a touchscreen interface. So I hope they do eventually get it on like an Android device. It would be really nice to be able to play this on my phone. You know, yeah. like if you're waiting for somebody at a bar or something like that. Because of the way that it jumps from like one sector to the next, it really makes it easy to um, to play it to a little bit at a time. Yeah, Play like yeah. one battle just while you're waiting and then go back. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Uh, right. And that, that's a lot of the things that I've heard about the uh, uh, the iOS version is that it really just lends itself really, really well to to a touchscreen interface and also mobile gaming so that you play, you know, you play a little bit at a time. And the fact that, you know, the, it, it is... While there is a lot going on on the screen and everything, it is... Well, you, you can know, also pause. I mean, that's yeah. the thing that I've, I haven't been doing. Uh, sure. My usual carrier is days late. I need to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station. Can't afford to pay another carrier, but we would surely tip you generously. Sure, I'll take your money. So there we actually picked up a, a sub-quest. Um, a sub-quest from uh, a, an NPC character to deliver some stuff for him. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and jump again. So there's the quest. That's cool. It's very convenient. Yeah. Right near the exit. It's, uh, right near where you need to be, so it's on the way. Mm hmm. Uh, nothing's here. Oh, I'm going to go with the distress signal first. Let's see. Asteroid belt, find a pirate ship. A uh, ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegal, m illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Ah, uh, sure. Yay! Good stuff. So I'm going to keep hammering on my shields here. And I think that that should give me power. Yeah, hopefully that'll that'll uh, allow me to use my shields. Um, have uh, level two shields, yeah. which are really important. Uh, let's see. You're supposed to deliver the drone parts to the station here. Uh, a small research station is putting out a distress signal. As your craze screams, your team retreats back to your ship with a number of armed scientists in pursuit. One of your team starts to cough and falls in a spasm onto the floor. Oh, shit. Oh, goddammit, one of my crew just turned into enemies. I don't have enough crew to deal with this asshole bullshit. Oh, goddammit. And they're... Okay, you know what? Fucking... Man, they are taking out your weapons. Yeah, I'm going to put them into space. They're all going to get... Nobody, nobody gets air, but... One room. You guys get to deal with no atmosphere whatsoever. Wow. So yeah, have fun. Uh, have fun choking to death out there, stupids. Uh, didn't they just run into your room? Well, now they did. Yes. But that's all right because we all heal in here. Uh, the main problem, I think, is the fact that they destroyed the oxygen, and so, then I've got nine percent oxygen left. So I'm gonna so. go ahead and close these <laughs> and these two. So I think we're getting... The problem right now is just 
having one fewer crew member at this point. Yeah. Like, I don't have room to not have a crew guy. Shit. This is going to be a this real serious be... problem. Yeah, man. You're uh Wow. Okay. Say so you're you're dead, but now we might be totally hosed. Get in there. Get in there, get in I there, get in there. We can uh, repair that. Oh wait, this guy, he repairs faster. So if I just keep sending them back to the back to the medical bay when they're not quite dead. There we go. All right. Get it back in there. Yeah, I know. I know. Closing all the doors. There's also other variants that I've seen where there's some uh, ships that have, like, ion cannons to, uh, to knock down your shields, and oh, then yeah? they have a transporter, like Star Trek, and yeah. they start beaming uh, either fighters or, like, robot death drones over to your ship oh, wow. to kill your guys from the inside to take your ship, like, faster. Um, all right. I think we're... Why don't you repair that? You repair that. It seems like we're probably in the clear. But now, god damn it, I don't. I only got two guys. I need more guys than that, yeah. John. Yeah. No, you, you're. Yeah. I don't really know what else to say there. You're, you're short one guy. He turned on you. Yeah. He got infected by whatever the crazy. There was the 28 days later shit in there, right? Oh like, yeah. I, that's what it seems like. Was it like the 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 red dust from that you know from Transformers where it was like it would turn them crazy and then they would try to infect everybody else? Right, or the uh, or the the purple stuff, the 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 thing that turned the Smurfs purple and then oh, they turned yeah. into zombies. I I didn't know about that one. Oh, fuck. Um, All right, we need a store before we get out of here. Um, I got a few more turns before those assholes get here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go here. Oh, sometimes you'll get people that offer to join your crew. Intelligent life. Okay. Let's investigate. You land a small, small brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scan picked up? Try communicating with them peacefully. Oh, cool. Yes. Yes. All right. I got a new crew guy. <laughs> so he joined your crew? Mm-hmm. Well, mm -hmm. these guys are like part robot, I think. Yeah. Um... All right. Uh, no, wait. You were on weapons before, so I'll keep you on weapons. All right. That's cool. That's what I needed. And let's see if we can pick up... Let's see if I can not lose any more dudes on the way out of here. Uh, All right. This is an automated rebel. Okay. Yeah. These guys are, are usually pretty easy to take out. All right. So let's take them out. Let's take them out already. Enough talking, Jeff. Get your drones going. No, Destroy them. I want his weapons knocked out. Yeah, there you go. See, when you do that, you see the way the weapons retracted? Yeah. That was because the ion cannon is keeping their weapons from firing. That's actually, I think, the reason why I got further with this ship than any other one. Yeah. Is because I was able to keep, I was able to take the shields down fast and keep, oh, nice. Oh. I already have a drone system. So these things will go out and repair your ship yeah. while you're in combat, which is pretty cool. That is nice. Uh, that does work I think really I need well. to upgrade my drones a bit. You might need to. Um. I'll do that first. All right, sounds good. If I can maybe, because I got two and one, and I got three total, so I should be able to power that with the three bars that I have here. I guess I need one more. Power is always something that it seems like you never have enough of in this game. Um. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We can see what happens when Jeff doesn't totally whiff it through a sector. Uh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Well, Screen now you gotta you fight guys. another ship. That's yeah, fine. The only thing, the only problem that I have is running out of drones. Yeah. Because you'll only have a certain. You, they're like kind of like missiles. I can't remember if it was like that in the previous game or not. So is it like, w like you lose a drone when you use it, or do they destroy the drone? Or? I believe that you lose a drone when you use it. So that's weird. Oh, cool! And I got a lot of shit for that. Boom. Uh, I'm going to keep putting more into power because I keep needing more power. So I think that with that, I've got two, add two into drones, one into ships. So we're doing good. Yeah. We're we doing play on easy. Right now. <laughs> All right. So when you jump to the next sector, you get a, a question about whether you want to go to a nebula. You get to choose, basically. Okay. Through pirate here. control or uncharted nebula. Yeah. I'm going to go through pirate space because nebulas are a real shit storm and they can be a real pain in the ass. All right. 
uh, not like pirates are exactly super friendly or anything. Oh, look, my drone is going. Whee! Uh, cool, store. I can buy some new stuff. Don't forget to kind of try to figure out where oh, yeah. path you need to take. Yep. After you do your store stuff. Let's see, I'm going to fix it. And then what do we have? I don't have enough for any of these crew guys. These guys, these rock guys are really awesome. Uh, they... Uh, they're very good hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. I can sell off some... Uh... No. I think I might be able to sell off some missiles, but... What do we got here? Uh... How many... I got plenty of fuel. I got plenty... You know what? I'm going to save my money. Nothing worth here. Okay, back here. These three. This one. This one. This one. So I'm going to go boom, 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 boom. Boom. Oh, there's a nebula. Yeah. And how do the hell do you even... Oh, you got to go through the nebula to get there. Okay, so I'm going to go. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You got it? You know what you're going to do? Yep. You got it. So right. have, you, have you played any any games like this before, John? Uh, I mean, I'm uh, going to be honest. I have not. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be the first one that I actually was going to... Um, like Bridge Commander yeah. or... Uh, yeah, I never... I always wanted to play the, the Bridge Commander or things like that, but I never got around to it. God damn it. Um, Got to keep his drones knocked out so that his drones can't fuck me up. Ah, yeah. Ah, this is this is working out way better. Playing on easy is so much easier, you John. Think? It's crazy. I'm sure we're going to get made fun of for that. Probably. This game is really hard. Though. It is hard. Like I, I've, I, Like I said, I've... That's one of the reasons I want it on my phone is so that I can just play it whenever. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to sit here in front of my computer like a crazy person. Because that'll happen. Yeah. In fact, I am kind of can see myself doing that tonight while I've got some videos that need coding sitting here and playing FTL. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and... Can I pick up your dead drone? I no? don't think so. Aw. Um, so this is worth noting here that there's like all of these different things have, uh, you know, shields and power and engines are pretty easy, right? Yeah. Uh, like, but... There's a lot of different things that you can put points into that really do make a difference. Uh, like this is the O2 refills. Um, <clears throat> but things like this about auto 50% evasion on your, um, on your driving, uh, see the enemy interior. That's actually a really useful thing because you can see the people that are on the enemy ship. So yeah. you can actually target subsystems on their ship to try to like blow out their oxygen so that they can't... If there's one guy on that ship, he yeah. can't fight you and keep his oxygen flowing at the same time. Yeah. Doors are interesting, too, because once you start getting up into the higher levels, um, you can... like Once you start get blast doors, you can start locking people down and making sure that they can't spread throughout your ship. Okay. But then they start busting down your doors, so you have to recover, you have to, you know, uh, repair your doors when you're done. I'm actually going to do that one because that's a that's a good uh, good easy thing. The evasion uh, or uh, yeah, just having more evasion on your okay. on your ship is a is a pretty good. Let's see. Let me go to this one. All right. Oh man. <laughs> but you figure, you know, you would figure that at this particular point in video games, right, that we would see way more stuff like this out there. Yeah. I mean, I would totally play like a Mass Effect style game that had the art style and graphics of Mass Effects. Uh oh. Well, fuck you, pirates. Ooh, maybe we'll get some uh, some hot asteroid action. I'm gonna that go. didn't sound right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know how it sounded. Okay. Just checking. Just making sure. Yeah, see, in an asteroid field, you get the random asteroids that'll just pummel your shields that come by. There we go. Keeping your shields down and your weapons. Hit his weapons. There we go. Taking on this pirate. Mm -hmm. I love the, the ion cannon. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. I have no use for you, pirate man. You tried to ambush me. It's not my fault you can't shoot back because I'm so awesome. What? <laughs> Playing on easy. <laughs> Suddenly the game goes, you're, you're having it too easy. We're going to move you right. back to... Um, okay, let's get the fudge out of here. Jump directly into this nebula. Ugh. Yeah. Um, you don't like nebulas. Mullet? Yeah, that guy's name is Mullet. Okay. All right, wait, this is Nicola, a... Mullet, and Weishing. 
rebel. This is a rebel ship. They tend to be a little difficult, but he's only got one bank of shields, so I'm going to fuck him up. And try to keep his weapons at bay. So, uh, like, yeah. one of the problems that I had when I was originally playing this game was I found it very difficult to actually um, make a whole, like, the, the problem, or, or maybe which is something that we haven't noted yet about this, is that when you die in this game, you're dead. Yeah. Like, when your ship gets messed up, you start over from the very beginning. Correct. And in some cases, man, it makes it frustrating because when you finally get a run where you're managing to make some progress and you're getting forward in the universe, and then suddenly you get into a nebula, you get hijacked by some assholes who transport a bunch of rot dudes over. Yeah. And you're just like, oh, god damn it. I'm actually so okay with that because, I mean, there's something to be said for a game that, you know, has a difficulty that you can't necessarily... Uh, you know that you have to start over if you don't. Right. You know there's well, something it, to be said, and from it ups what I the can, stakes quite yeah, a bit. It ups the stakes, and then also from what I can tell, it's like you know, death is not always super frustrating. Mm -hmm. it, it you know because it's usually a learning experience. Yeah. Uh, like oh okay, I messed up because. Um. Oh, I gotta try to target their. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep them from. They're trying to get out of here, but I'm not letting that happen. Fuck your floating horse. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what that reference is. Uh, that's something that Jason said on one of our shows. and It yeah. was like, well I, well, I don't understand that. But it's become a thing now, I think. Sort of. Oh, here goes my repair drone. See, he's out there repairing it up. Oh, that's another Good thing. job, repair drone. About the NG ship is you see how my guy in engineering has little uh, uh, health stuff over his head. Yeah. Like this ship, the health... I will not accept surrender. No you retreat, no surrender. No, you were trying to escape. I have no use for escapee, escapee, escapersons. Boom. Um, should probably use some of these. Some of this. 80% evasion? Fuck yes. Buy that for a dollar. Y you kind of dead. Yeah. Um... Uh, it, yeah, I mean, it definitely ups the stakes. It makes things a lot more, you know, it's more perilous when there's some actual honest-to-God consequences from losing a fight. You yeah. Know? It does make you think twice about, should I get in this fight with this pirate? Or, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Intruders. Intruder alert. Oh, my God, oh look my at all these God. assholes. All right, fine. We'll fight to the last man. Fight them, my science robots. See, that's a nice thing about the about fighting in the med bay. It's weird. How it's kind of counterproductive in this game yeah. that I always end up having my fist fights in the med bay. Yeah. Because that is where um, that's where my guys get healed and the other guys don't. So yeah. fuck so, those guys. So it's almost like your guys are immortal as long as they're in the med bay. Right. Well, sometimes like if those rock dudes show up, oh yeah, they're they gonna will mess you up. Yeah, because they're gonna do more damage than you can heal. Mm -hmm. Or the robots. Sometimes the robots show up, mess you no up. No one likes robots. No one likes some robots. All right. I don't know why I have the human as the driver and all the rest of these robot dudes have to be like the engineers. That's a little racist, I think. Uh, all right. A little bit. Well, you know what? We are out of time. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a break. But when we come back in part two, John, you're going to get to play some FTL. Are you psyched? Oh, I am are you ready? going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But uh, I'm excited. Okay, cool. Well, we will see you in uh, the day after tomorrow. Yes. On the day after tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little sleepy right now. Uh, the, for part two of FTL. See you then.